What's up guys, this isn't necessarily a tank update. Uh, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here for my water filtration here and uh, some changes that will be coming up. Finally got the garage cleaned up a little bit um, since the tank build. And I was out here weighing some extra rock that I got. I got 60 pounds of uh, now dry rock. So I've been thinking of setting that little tank up over there. But anyways, um, back to this. This is my uh, supply water that I um, top the tank off with and do um, water changes with. So this is the clean water that runs through the Spectra Pure filter. And then over in these two barrels, <clears throat> this is where I collect um, through this tube here and then I just switch between the two tanks. I collect the wastewater and then I got a little pump in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can. A little pump in there and it's hooked up to this hose. I use the wastewater to uh, water my plants out front. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a shot out there. but I water my plants out front with uh, the wastewater. So, yeah, that's what I do. I try to collect as much as I can. And then whatever um, overflows here you know, in these two barrels, I just run it out the uh, garage door. But usually, by the time this is filled up, these two are just getting to their peak. So, uh, anyways, um, I got this uh, sprinkler solenoid valve here. Um, I want to put the RO system on a solenoid, and I got a sprinkler clock on the other side of this wall here, which is where I got my my uh, supply line for the RO system running behind the wall. Probably not be able to see it, but it goes through the wall there. So I'm going to have this on the outside uh, hooked up to the spigot, and then basically what I'm going to do, it's not going to be like a fully automated thing like where the, the water level goes down. I'm going to be using a float switch. Um, in the barrel here um, So it's not gonna be like when the when the water level goes down like an inch the float switch activates this what I'm gonna do is when this gets empty um, What I'm gonna do is go out to the sprinkler clock, and I'm gonna set the timer for 12 hours so Obviously the float switch will be opened up or it'll close the circuit on this and basically this solenoid will open up with that float switch, fill it up, I'll have the timer set for 12 hours. So whichever finishes first, if this fills up and then and, uh, opens up the circuit on the float switch, it's going to stop the water from filling this up, this barrel up, that way I don't overflow the barrel. Um, and then if 12 hours comes around first and this isn't filled, well then I still won't be um, overflowing the water. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this. I'm going to be hooking up a uh, float switch in series with this and then we're going to be going to the timer clock on the outside of the wall. Um, I'm doing that because I, I can't tell you how many times I've overran my RO system where like I literally dumped 100 gallons of clean water out onto the floor because I've overfilled it and forgot to turn the spigot off you know, before I went to bed or something. So that's why I'm going to do that. 12 hours should be you know, I'm going to play around with the time, but uh, I'm going to initially start off with 12 hours. So I'll be setting this up. I'll do a video on how to wire it all up. But it's really simple, kind of just like doing the ATO. Same same thing, except this is a solenoid instead of a pump. So anyways, so there's that. I got another system here that I'm just going to be selling and getting rid of because I don't need two systems. So anyways, guys, that's uh, what I'm going to be doing with the water system there. And um, I'll bring you guys an update when I get to wiring that up and show you how it all works and everything. So, all right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Later.